Hi, my name is Osasu Igmanadian. My thoughts on suicide is that social media has created this sort of lifestyle, has created such a bubble that young people are stuck in. And a lot of people are then trying to live up to the expectations of a false reality created by people who are not even living up to these false expectations themselves. So that has increased the amount of people who have felt depressed, who have felt suicidal. And unfortunately, we're seeing the rampant increase of suicide in Nigeria due to social media. Yes, there are positives of social media, but due to the increased pressure on young people and even people middle-aged and um, older are starting to feel that they're not worthy, that they're starting to feel like they can be more. Um, so I believe that suicide is then increasing in our society. And now we have an open platform where people talk about it and sometimes talk about it to the wrong people. Um, if you talk about it openly to just anybody, they might actually trigger your situation and make it even worse. So that's why I advise people who are listening all across the world to ensure that you're seeking help from professionals and not just anybody. Yes, I believe it's possible to tell when someone who is close to you is suicidal. However, if it's a complete stranger, you don't know his day-to-day -day norms or her day-to-day -day feelings of happiness and sadness. So it's impossible to tell when a stranger is suicidal. But if it's someone close to you, I think it's pretty easy to identify. I believe suicide rates can be reduced through awareness documentaries like this. I believe suicide rates can be reduced in our nation by ending cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is so rampant these days. And I also believe suicide rates can be reduced by being satisfied in your, with yourself. Um, there's this undue pressure, as I said earlier, that has been created by social media. A lot of people believe that they're not worthy. A lot of people believe that they could be doing more with their lives and they don't have the capacity to um, attain such greatness and success. But I want to tell everyone out there who's watching this today that you have what it is uh, that it takes to succeed. You have everything that you know you need to be who you want to be within you so do not pay attention to the false lavish lives people are living on social media most of it is fake i have someone who told me during one of my documentaries on the same issue of suicide that she was in nigeria and posted a video of her saying that she was in america you know so people shouldn't be influenced by you know what people post on social media most of it is fake the jet life the bentley's the you know all the different lifestyles that they're trying to create just be focused on you be focused on developing yourself and i believe that when once you're able to alleviate that pressure alleviate that burden from your shoulders that you feel less depressed you will feel less bad about yourself and you feel less suicidal no i haven't known personally anyone who has attempted to commit suicide or has committed suicide before but Definitely, I've read about a lot of cases. I've watched, you know, a lot of uh, testimonials about people who have survived it. And I think one key takeaway is the willingness to live. Actually, trying to commit suicide from the documentary we did recently on preventing suicide in Nigeria, um, we realized from people who have attempted to commit suicide that it's actually one of the hardest things to do. Um, that is why you see people trying to jump off the third mainland bridge or running to a moving car because they don't have the strength to do it themselves. They don't have the confidence. So um, there's a situation, there's a solution for every problem that you're going through. Never ever think your worst day is the end of your life because there's always, the sun always, you know, um, arises in the morning. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. So there's a solution for every single problem you're going through. And that's one thing I'm very appreciative about family about. I know my mother is one key pillar in my life. There's nothing that can happen on this earth that I can say there isn't a solution to. She will tell me there's a solution. This is not the end of the road for you. So I want you guys to also be surrounded by people who will motivate you, people who will tell you the same thing, that due to your situation today, you know, it's not the end of your life. You know, there's tomorrow, there's hope, there's life, there's light at the end of the tunnel. My message to the world on suicide is that suicide is real. Suicide is a mental health disorder. Suicide is preventable. Suicide is not the answer to any situation you're going through. Uh, 
believe in yourself pray i pray to god all the time and i believe that's why i've been able to retain my sanity but um pray believe in a higher being i don't care if you're christian or muslim or buddhist or a traditionalist whatever it is you are believe in a higher being you're here for a purpose you have a destiny that you've been called and created to fulfill believe in that every single day work assiduously in terms of trying to achieve that and you'll get there one day life isn't easy i know that trust me no matter if you're born with a silver diamond or platinum or golding or whatever spoon that you're born with you will have challenges across the way every single person warren buffett uh bill gates everyone has their day-to-day -day challenges you might think oh they're billionaires but no they can wake up one day and say oh you know your company just lost 10 billion and obviously you would think that would make him or her want to commit suicide but no because they are aware because they've trained themselves because they've strengthened their minds they know that there is light at the end of the tunnel there is no situation in this world that should cause you to commit suicide there is light there is hope and god still exists and your situation can be turned around in a snap of a finger and remember mind over matter